Hey everyone, I want to welcome you to my channel. If you've been following along, you've been using this sheet probably in the past, but I have a few updates for you today. I'm not going to go through the instructions on how to get any Google Drive folders or open any API keys, etc. Those are all going to be up here just like normal. But what I do want to bring your attention to is the values are not going to be stored in the script itself. So with that, it's going to be a little bit faster, but you are going to have to update it each time you update this sheet. So what that looks like is going to be in the AI assistant script keys, store all keys. And what happens, it's going to store them. Then you can erase them from this sheet or whatever, but it's going to pull all the data from there because it just took a little bit more time to go back and forth between sheets. So I just got rid of that. So it'll go a little bit faster now, but you can still choose your API and things like that. But what I do want to bring your attention to also is now it has stability.ai and often people know that as stable diffusion. So you can put your API key in here. If you have any questions on how to get that, I do have a, a link up here on how to get that API key. And then also guides the settings, pricing guides, and I even have a template that you can play around with. If you just go to this right here, you can kind of see what the pictures look like whenever you input different features. But now I have all of, or at least some of those features options right here. I realized that if you had too many of them, it can get really confusing and it might cause things to break and things like that. So what you can do now is you can use stability.ai to generate featured images, which is, they're a lot better than the Dolly images, more closer to that mid journey option. You can also generate the subheading images. So it'll go through the subheadings that are generated by ZimRider. If I haven't mentioned yet, I want to bring your attention to ZimRider. This tool is mainly to accompany that as far as when you generate articles, it'll add certain features. So make sure in this one, you're enabling that H2 subheadings. And so it'll incorporate those into it and it'll pull it. I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a rundown on that later, but make sure you read the guides on how to uh, change the settings and things like this. You can change the height and the width now, change the steps. The steps are gonna make it more clear or more, uh, maybe a little less weird. I think it goes up to 150. This one, I actually like 50 a little bit better. Seems 30 is, at least 30 is recommended. 50, you start to get a little bit better pictures of people and animals and things like that. So that's why I like that. But you need to make sure that you check both of these in order to get those images generated. There's still options to generate articles or to improve articles with rank math, etc. I'll put links below for the bulk interlinking and the bulk rank math generator, but that's for different videos. But make sure that you do check this still before you move any further, so that way you can continue to use the tools. Again, if you haven't already, make sure you do the script, script keys, store all keys. And I'm not gonna run through how to generate the categories or the tags or anything like that, but this is what I wanna bring your attention to, is in this version, along with the last one, but I just wanna highlight in this version, it'll pull the articles from your ZimWriter folder. So what you want is this ZimWriter articles folder, whatever the Google Drive ID is, is, and I'll have a link on how to find that, but make sure you put that in here. And so it'll start to pull articles from that. How do we do that? In the AI Assistant, go to that, and then we're gonna go down to post and upload from ZimWriter folder. So at this time, it's gonna start pulling in that information from the folder. So we already have this article and it's gonna start going through and generating the images for us. And so it's gonna take a little bit to do that. And this one it generated the featured image. It's gonna start generating the subheading images, things like that. While it's doing that, I'm only gonna do one article. While it's doing that, I'm gonna show you how to do a trigger. A trigger is gonna be something that allows you to do something in the background automatically so that you can run it over and over again without you having to do it because there is a six minute limit on how long each of these functions run. So what that does is if you go to this, you go to add trigger. What I want to highlight is there's three at the top. So if you want to run this upload from ZimWriter folder on repeat, you can. So we'll use that for as a first option and you can go to time driven. And so you can run it every 30 minutes, hour, et cetera. So we'll do a minutes timer of every 30 minutes. I think the limit is 50 triggers a day. So just make sure you don't go over that. 30 minutes is a good one on that. 
But if you save it, what it'll do is every 30 minutes, it'll pull the articles from the ZimWriter folder. If you have that folder linked to your computer via Google Cloud, or uh, yeah, Google Cloud, then it'll sync that from your ZimWriter folder to Google Drive, and Google Drive will pull from here, so you can automate that entire process. But you can do that, or if you want to post, you can do upload all posts from WordPress, and that way, as whenever it times out, it'll start again at the next post and keep going. Or if you want to drip the post into WordPress, you can do upload next article. And then you say, let's say you want to do once a day. What you're going to do is you do time driven or, and then we'll do day timer. We'll say between seven and eight at night. And so whatever, between seven and eight at night, it will drip your little drip one at a time, one post at a time. And it'll upload those one at a time. So that's what a, a trigger is for that. So let's go back here. Awesome, so at this point, we've generated all of our subheading images. We have our options to generate the articles. You can add categories, subcategories, et cetera. Make sure those, those are on your WordPress site. Then you go to AI Assistant, Post. You can upload the next article, and that'll upload all of them to WordPress so that they do get generated in WordPress you're gonna have those images and subheadings, things like that. So now the question is, what else? What else can we do with this? Well, what I wanna bring your attention to right here is what to expect in the future versions. So what I'm gonna work on is the improved category to article mapping slash idea generation. I, right now is very general. It's supposed to be, supposed to be for idea generation, uh, not necessarily to streamline the whole process, but now I realize people are using that a lot. So I'm gonna to try to improve that a little bit uh, somebody mentioned incorporating the YouTube API to get the video embedding. I think that's pretty great. Uh, I think I'm going to incorporate that. The bulk SEO generation with search. This is what I want to do in order to pair it better with ZimWriter. I would love that ZimWriter also incorporate a bulk writing SEO feature. So to get that, I need you guys to request that on the feature request is a bulk SEO writer. We at least need article title and background as two features to incorporate it in, because then we can pull Google search or the most relevant search URLs to the Google sheet and then add those to ZimWriter. ZimWriter writes it and then we can publish it. So it'll work really well there. And then if you ha aren't familiar with ZimWriter, please click my affiliate link here to go there. That'll help support me in this channel, but that'll give you a little bit more about what ZimWriter is. And so that's this is just one way to really incorporate all of this really well together. And in the long-term future, I'm gonna work on Python scripts, maybe some WordPress plugins to address the time restrictions. I'm not sure the best way. The WordPress plugins, I'm a little worried about the um, safety or trying to keep that up to date so that it doesn't introduce vulnerabilities to your site. But um, we're gonna see how things go. Hopefully, if we get enough support, we can integrate that as well. But this is kind of what we're looking at. So please subscribe to my channel if you do find this helpful. You can subscribe to my channel to stay up to date. You can donate to me. They'll both be huge. Um, check out some of the other videos on my channel. And hopefully you guys found this helpful.